Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I've uh, uploaded anything to this channel, and for that, I do apologize. However, I do have a short little tutorial video lined up for you guys here today. I bought a uh, Qi wireless charger that came in the mail a couple days ago, and apparently you can install these quite uh, easily on a 30 gigabyte zoom so that's what we're gonna do today i'm gonna be kind of winging this so uh, i guess we can uh, learn together and uh, hopefully at the end of this video we'll have a, a zoom that can wirelessly charge so just for a little background uh, this is my uh, daily driver it's got the i think it's a 3000 milliamp hour battery and an ssd having the ssd mod makes this upgrade a little bit easier you can take the SSD out of the cage and it kind of frees up some space inside the device for this module. So I have my soldering iron uh, heating up right now. Let's go over what you're going to need for this. Uh, I sent obviously the Qi charger. Um, these don't really run you that too, that much. I think I got this one for maybe $10 on Amazon. I can't remember. It wasn't that much. Uh, yeah, you're going to need the charger, soldering iron, some solder, and uh, uh, yellow tape, I forget what it's called. You're not gonna need too many tools for this, but an iFixit toolkit will make this easier. Um, essentially, you just need a Phillips screwdriver, and that is pretty much it to get into this thing. Um, so yeah, you'll see here, you got some of that tape um, keeping the SSD and uh, the battery together. Oh yeah, you're gonna wanna make sure it's turned off as well before you go removing the battery. But yeah, let's get to it. What we're gonna be wanting to solder this onto is underneath the SSD here in the battery. It's gonna be on the main board. Unhook the battery. Okay, so I'm gonna need to adjust the camera. Bear with me, please. All right, I am gonna put up a little diagram on the, uh, of the video momentarily, but essentially we're gonna be wanting to attach these wires to pins 24 and one on the uh, sink port right here. And the pins are gonna be these little tiny, they almost look like teeth, little metal guys down here at the bottom. And uh, it is important which wire goes where, so you're gonna to wanna to check the back of your key chargers board, positive and negative. So ground uh, is gonna be negative and uh, VCC is going to be pins one or pin one, um, and that's going to be positive. Positive wire is going to go on pin one. The lighter wire that's going to go on pin 24. Um, I was told that pins 22 to 24 and pins one to three, um, if you bridge those connections, that's okay. Alternatively, um, these lighter green areas, this one right here, you could scratch off the solder mask and solder your wire directly to the board there. All these connections are live, so <clears throat> you could do that if you don't have the steadiest of hands. Without further ado, I am going to start it. Let's hope I don't mess this up. Hey guys, uh, this is me in post. Just wanted to give a reminder that I forgot to mention on camera. When you start this process, you're gonna want to first uh, apply a little bit of solder to both the soldering iron and the wires. It doesn't have to be a lot, just enough to make a strong enough connection on these pins. That might be good. Okay, next wire. Might need to rotate this. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna test it out real quick. Um, and I will be right back. Okay guys, good news is I think it worked. I went ahead and reassembled it. If you have the uh, SSD and battery mods, you're gonna have a decision to make about uh, how you want these uh, these mods stacked. So I decided to do the battery first with some double-sided tape to mount it to the main board, then the SSD, and then the key charger. It really leaves just enough room to 
put the back on. As far as charging goes, the battery meter isn't gonna indicate that it's actually receiving a charge from the uh, charging pad. But the best way to test it is to just shut the device all the way off. You can do this by holding down the uh, down and back buttons at the same time for about three seconds. So now the device is completely powered off and normally if you were to plug this in and it starts receiving a charge, it would boot up automatically. So the same applies to the Qi charger. Once it starts receiving a charge from the pad, um, yep, the device boots up. So you'll notice the battery meter doesn't show that it's actually receiving a charge, or isn't gonna show that it's receiving a charge from the pad. Um, yeah, nothing going on there. Again, if you power it off, you can even just hold down the play button and put it in sleep mode. And again, it'll turn on once it starts receiving a charge. But anyways, yeah, this is kind of, you know, short little uh, tutorial I decided to make. I was gonna do this anyways, and I thought it was a good opportunity to get you guys a video. I know it's been a long time. And again, sorry, but I was glad I was able to get to this today. If you guys wanna help out, go ahead and comment below and tell me what kind of videos you'd like to see me do uh, next. So that's all I got for you guys today. I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting this guy back together. It's kind of cool, huh? One last thing, guys, the link to the Qi charger that I uh, use in this video, I'm gonna put it down in the description below in case you wanna try this mod out yourself. Um, Overall, I'd say it was pretty simple, pretty easy. As long as you're comfortable with the soldering iron, you shouldn't have uh, too much of an issue uh, with this one. So, uh, yep, yeah, that's it. Bye.